three different types of air traffic control that we have. Uh, the one everyone would be most familiar with is the tower environment, so the control towers that you see at uh, the various airports around the country. And uh, that's where you're controlling just the environment of the airport itself. Um, at the major capital cities, the towers don't actually have any airspace at all, they're just responsible for the runway. The next type of control is what sits immediately above that, which is approach control. And radar approach control uses radars and looks at the blip clips on the screen, which is what people are familiar with from movies, and keeping all the uh, aircraft apart on a radar screen. Once you get outside of that area, which is generally about 80 kilometres from the airport, that's actually on route control, which is one that people know the least about. Uh, from Melbourne and Brisbane, we've got two buildings, and we do approximately half of the country each and they do all the areas that are outside of 80 kilometres from our major airports uh, and the regional airports that have got their own control tower services. And those, those en route sectors uh, comprise the vast majority of the controllers that we have.